Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel, Mumbalot's Math Tutorial. Today we will be discussing the division of polynomials, which are the long and the synthetic division method. Now, what is a polynomial? It is an expression of the form a sub n x to the n plus a sub n minus 1 x to the n minus 1 plus a sub n minus 2 x to the n minus 2 plus and so on plus a sub 1 x plus a sub 0. And a sub n must not be equal to 0 where the non-negative integer n is called the degree of the polynomial and the coefficients a sub 0, a sub 1, and so on until a sub n are real numbers. Let's have some examples. Example number 1. 5x squared minus 7x plus 2. Is this a polynomial? Of course, because it has a degree of n which is equal to 2 which is found here. And it has the coefficients a sub 0 up to a sub n, which are 2, negative 7, and 5, which are real numbers. Example number 2. 3x to the 3 fourth minus x minus 1. Is this a polynomial? It's not. Why? Because the degree here is 3 fourth, which is not an integer. So from the definition, n must be a non-negative integer. Example number 3. Negative 2x to the 5th plus 4 over 7. Is this a polynomial? Of course it is because the degree here is 5 and we have the coefficients negative 2 and 4 over 7 which are real numbers. Now what is a long division method? This method is already familiar to you because you have been using this method in dividing real numbers. So for example, if we have to divide 57 by 4, we arrange it in this form where the dividend 57 is put inside the inverted L shape and the divisor 4 is on the outside. So the first thing we have to do is we divide the first digit to the divisor. So we have 5 divided by 4, we get 1. Then multiply it back to the divisor. So we have 1 times 4, we get 4. Then we subtract the result to the first digit. So we have 5 minus 4, we get 1. Then we bring down the next digit, which is 7. So that becomes now 17. Going back again to the process, so 17 divided by 4, we get 4. Multiplying again, so 4 times 4, we get 16. And then subtracting again, so 17 minus 16, we get 1. So from this, we know that the 14 above is what we call the quotient. And the 1 below is the remainder. So we will now use this method in dividing our polynomials. Now, how do we use long division method in dividing polynomials? So we have here the steps. Step 1. Arrange the dividend and the divisor in decreasing powers of exponents. So you have to take note that we must insert zeros as coefficient of the missing terms of each polynomial if necessary. So for example, if we divide 5x cubed minus 7x plus 2 by x minus 1, so we will follow the format of the long division method and step 1. So that becomes... Okay, inside the inverted L shape is 5x cubed plus 0x squared minus 7x plus 2. So we inserted 0x squared since the exponent 2 is missing on the terms. So we have to make sure that the decreasing power of exponents are complete. Okay, and then we put the divisor on the outside which is x minus 1. Then we have step 2, divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor. So our first term here is 5x cubed divided by the first term of the divisor which is x. So 5x cubed divided by x, we have 
5x squared. Okay, let's move on to step 3. Step 3, multiply the partial quotient to the divisor. So, we will multiply 5x squared to the divisor x minus 1. So, that becomes 5x squared times x. So, that is now equal to 5x cubed. And then, 5x squared times negative 1, that is equal to negative 5x squared. So, you have to make sure that you align the similar terms. That is also the reason why we inserted 0x squared so that our product can have similar terms above. Okay, that can be used to the next step, which is, step 4 is, subtract the result from the dividend. So, from here, we will now subtract the result from above, so since they are like terms, so we can just subtract easily. So, 5x cubed minus 5x cubed can be cancelled out because that is equal to 0. And then we have 0 minus negative 5x squared that becomes now positive 5x squared. Okay. Step 5, bring down the next term in the dividend. So, the next term there is negative 7x. So, we bring down negative 7x. Okay. So, we have here now 5x squared minus 7x in the bottom row. Step 6 is you have to repeat the process from step 2 until then. So, if we recall step 2, it is dividing the first term of the dividend to the first term of the divisor. But this time, we will use the first term of the bottom row, which is 5x squared, so divided by x. So that is now equal to 5x. And then again, we multiply the partial quotient 5x to the divisor. So we have 5x times x, that is now equal to 5x squared. Then 5x times negative 1, that is negative 5x. After that, the next step is we subtract the result from the terms above. So 5x squared minus 5x squared is equal now to 0. So meaning that can be cancelled out. And then negative 7x minus negative 5x is equal to negative 2x. So, after that, we need to bring down again the next term, which is 2. So, we bring down plus 2. Going back again to step 2, so we will divide again negative 2x, 2x. So, you have now negative 2x divided by x, we have negative 2. And then multiply again negative 2 to the divisor, we have negative 2 times x, that is equal to negative 2x. Then negative 2 times negative 1, we have positive 2. Then after that, subtract again. So negative 2x minus negative 2x can be cancelled out since it is 0. And then we have 2 minus 2 can be also cancelled out. So we have here the remainder which is 0. So from this result, we have the quotient is 5x squared plus 5x minus 2, and the remainder is 0. Now, let's have another example using the long division method. So, we have here, divide x to the 4th plus 3x squared plus 5 by x squared plus 2. So, following the steps, we have to put the dividend inside the inverted L shape. So, we have x to the 4th plus 0x cubed, so inserted 0x cubed since the exponent 3 is missing on the dividend, then plus 3x squared, plus 0x since x is also missing, and then plus 5. And then we put the divisor outside, so we have x squared, plus 0x since x is also missing in the divisor, and then we have plus 2. So following the steps now, we have to divide the first term of the dividend 
5x squared. So, divided by x. So, that is now equal to 5x. And then again, we multiply. So, we have x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. Then, x squared times 0x, we have 0x cubed. And then, x squared times 2, we have 2x squared. So, after that, we need to subtract. So, subtracting x to the fourth minus x to the fourth, so that can be cancelled out. And then, 0x cubed minus 0x cubed can be cancelled out also. But, for the sake of following the steps of the long division method, so we can just write below 0x cubed. And then, 3x squared minus 2x squared is x squared. So, after that, the next step is you have to bring down the next term. So, you have there plus 0x. So, we divide again. 0x cubed divided by x squared, we get 0x. And then, multiply again. So, 0x times x squared is 0x cubed. Then, 0x times 0x, we got 0x squared. And then, 0x times 2, we have 0x. After that, we again subtract. So, we have 0x cubed minus 0x cubed can be cancelled out. And then, x squared minus 0x squared is x squared. And then, 0x minus 0x is, of course, 0x. Then, bring down again the next term, which is plus 5. Then, going back to the process, we divide again x squared to x squared. So, you have x squared divided by x squared is equal to 1. And then, multiplying back, so we have 1 times x squared is x squared. 1 times 0x is 0x. And 1 times 2 is, of course, 2. After that, we subtract again. So, x squared minus x squared can be cancelled out now. Then, 0x minus 0x can be cancelled out also. And then, we have 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. So, from this division, we have now the quotient, which is x squared minus 0x plus 1. Or, you can just simply write x squared plus 1 since 0x does not have any value. And then, the remainder here is... 3. So, if you observe, the long division method is tedious because of so many variables where, in fact, we already know that the variables are always arranged in decreasing power. So, we will now derive a shortcut method into dividing our polynomials. We will use our previous example to derive this shortcut method. So, in here, we use our example number 2. So, as I have said before, the variables here are always arranged in decreasing powers. So, we can just delete these variables to make our solution easier. So, that becomes now. Okay, so the variables now are now deleted. Now, observe that there are numbers that we repeatedly write because of dividing and then getting its product. So, these numbers are... 5, 5, and negative 2, which are written in blue. So, we can just delete these numbers. Now, another number that were also repeatedly written are those numbers that we bring down, which are negative 7 and positive 2, which are written there in blue. So, we can just delete that numbers also. So, our form now becomes this one. And to make it more simpler, so we can move the numbers below upward. So, moving negative 5 and negative 2 upward, we have this one. And then moving also positive 2 and 0 upward, so we have this one. Okay, so we will delete the lines below. So, that looks like this. And then also observe the coefficient above which are positive 5 and negative 2, is also repeated in the last row. So, we can just delete the numbers. Okay. And then the first coefficient there above can be also transferred at the last column. 
So we can observe here that the numbers on the first row are the coefficients of the dividend. And the negative 1 outside is just the constant term of the divisor. And 5 here is the same with the coefficient above it. And the negative 5 is just the product of 5 and negative 1. And the numbers below are just the difference of the columns. And we can also observe that the quotient of this activity is 5x squared plus 5x minus 2, which are the coefficients on the last row, which is found here. And then the remainder is equal to 0, which is the last number in the last row. So this can lead to us to the shortcut method in dividing our polynomials, which we called as synthetic division method. So this is a process that makes use only of numerical coefficients in dividing polynomials. And these are the steps in dividing if the divisor is in x minus c form. Step 1. Arrange the coefficients of the dividend in descending powers of x, placing zeros for the missing parts. So, if we have the example, divide 4x cubed minus 5x squared plus 2 by x minus 3, we will apply now step 1 by arranging its coefficients. So, we have 4, negative 5, 0, and 2. So, we have there 0 since x is missing in the dividend. Then, we have step 2. The top row contains the coefficients of the dividend in descending power of x. On the leftmost, separated by the inverted L shape, put the value indicator, which is the value of c in x minus c found in the divisor. So in here, our divisor is x minus 3. So if we follow the x minus c format, so c is equal to 3. So we will put 3 in the leftmost part of our solution. There. Then, step 3, bring down the leading coefficient below the line. This will be the leading coefficient of the quotient. So, we bring down 4. The next, step 4, multiply the number below the line to the value indicator. So, that is 4 times 3, which is equal to 12. And then place the product below the coefficient of the next term of the dividend. So, we have there 12. And then add the 2 and that would be the next coefficient of the quotient. So, we will add negative 5 plus 12 and that is equal to 7. Step 5. Repeat step 4 until the last number below the line is obtained. So, we will multiply again 7 times 3, and that is equal to 21. Then 0 plus 21 is equal to 21. And then multiply again 21 times 3, so we get 63. And then 2 plus 63 is equal to 65. Step 6. Write the quotient. The quotient is 1 degree lower than the dividend. So in here, we have the coefficients of our quotient, which are colored in red. So we have 4x squared plus 7x plus 21. Since the degree of our dividend is 3, so the degree of our quotient is 1 less than 3, so we have now 2. And then the last number in the quotient side is the remainder. So we have there the remainder is equal to 65, which is colored in blue. Now, let's have another example. Divide 2x cubed minus 7x plus 8 by x plus 2. So, following the steps, we write down there the coefficients of the dividend. So, we have 2, 0, since x squared is missing, and the negative 7 and 8. And in our divisor, since we have x plus 2, so, if we follow the x minus c format, that would be now equal to 
x minus negative 2. So, our c is equal to negative 2. So, we write there on the leftmost part the negative 2. Then, we bring down 2. Then, multiply it by negative 2. So, we have negative 4. Add to 0. So, you have negative 4. Then, multiply again to negative 2. We have positive 8. Then, add to negative 7. So, we get 1. And then, multiply to negative 2. We get negative 2. And add to 8. We get 6. So, our quotient here is... 1 degree less than the dividend, so since the dividend has a degree of 3, so our quotient must have a degree of 2. So we have now 2x squared minus 4x plus 1. And our remainder is 6. Another example. Divide 4x cubed minus 8x squared plus 2x plus 6 by 2x minus 1. So, following the steps of the synthetic division, we write here the coefficients of the dividend, which are 4, negative 8, 2, and 6. Observe that our divisor is 2x minus 1. And then, the steps of our synthetic division is good only if our divisor is in x minus c format, which is the coefficient of x is 1. And in here, the coefficient of our x is 2. So, therefore, we will make this into a 1 coefficient by factoring out 2. So, if we factor out 2, that becomes now 2 times x minus 1 half. So, following our x minus c format, our c here is equal to 1 half. We will deal with the 2 later. So, we will write here in our leftmost part, c is equal to 1 half. So, from there, we bring down 4. Then, 4 times 1 half, we have 2. Then, negative 8 plus 2 is negative 6. Then, negative 6 times 1 half is negative 3. Then, 2 plus negative 3 is negative 1. Negative 1 times 1 half is negative 1 half. And, 6 plus negative 1 half is equal to 11 over 2. So, we cannot declare our quotient yet because the 2 here in our divisor is not yet divided. So, we will still divide the whole coefficients by 2. So, dividing now, we have 4 divided by 2 is 2. Negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. Negative 1 divided by 2 is negative 1 half. And 11 halves divided by 2 is 11 over 4. So, this are now the final coefficients of our quotient. So, the quotient, which is 1 degree lower than our dividend, is 2x squared minus 3x minus 1 half. And our remainder is equal to 11 over 4. Now, it's your turn to answer the modules. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you on our next lesson. At your service, Mambalot. Thank you.